And we continue on Westmoreland on the gridiron. It is time to congratulate and be joined by our week six Westmoreland Sports Network Player of the Week. He is senior Aiden Hudock from the Franklin Regional Panthers, or as Jonathan Whaley calls him, Mr. Electricity. He had five catches for 168 yards and three touchdowns through the air, plus a kickoff return for a touchdown. Aiden, thank you so much for, for joining me. Do you know Jonathan calls you that, by the way? I think every time he touched the ball, he's, he, he got that Mr. Yeah. Electricity thing going. <laughs> Yeah, I do know that. A lot of people around the school call me that. They joke around about it, so it's a funny nope. nickname for me. No way. That's hilarious. That's great. Yeah, gets around. That's great. Well, hey, you certainly provide the juice, man, so uh, that <laughs> that was a great a great nickname for you for sure. Um, so speaking of those big plays, tell us a little bit about the the victory over, over Norwin. I mean, obviously, offensively, you guys hit some big plays. I'll ask you about the kickoff return in a moment, but um, what was going so well for you guys offensively to allow you to, you know, to put up so many points? Um, I mean, Kyle Dupil has been running around a lot for us, so he's also like a big threat. So I feel like they were ready for our run game a lot. But um, we talked about it all week uh, that if they were going to put me in one-on-one coverage, that they were going to have Chase take a chance with me downfield. And uh, Chase was giving me great throws, and I was just making the plays for him, and it worked out very well. Yeah, how has the emergence of Kyle, I mean, he's been really good this year, certainly. How has that helped the passing game and kind of take some pressure off uh, of you and, and, you know, and the other guys there? Um, definitely brings the safeties down more to, like, read him. Like, they had pawns coming down really quick. We knew he was going to follow that, so we took him out, um, left him off the top of the, uh, the play, and uh, it opened up all the wideouts for us and even Austin Kearns, he got a couple of plays for us too. Uh, they mm-hmm. opened, just opened the middle of the field up for us. Were you excited going into that game? Um, did you did you know Jackson well at all? Um, and were you excited to go up against him? Yes, yeah, so I've known Jackson for a couple of years now. We're buddies. Uh, we have respect for each other. We're both good ball players. We say it to each other before the games. Uh, yeah, I was I was uh, very excited to go up against him and. Uh, Number five, he was a very good player. We heard about him all week in uh, film, so we were just really excited to play each other. So we're talking about the offense. Let's flip over to the defense. Uh, you know, Norman comes in with a great passing game, and we mm-hmm. saw them, you know, hit some plays certainly against you. What was the the challenge like going up, you know, against their passing game in that game? Um, definitely just like the one on one coverages. Um, we tried to double up pawns a little bit. We tried to. Uh, stop number five. Um, they did make plays on us. A uh, um, couple of plays, we did get a little lucky with them messing up a little bit, but uh, we all stuck to what our game plan was and stayed with them, so it worked out pretty good for us. All rallied to the ball. Well, Aiden, we felt that electricity to start the game, my man. Uh, wow, a kickoff return really set the tone. I know Norman answered with a big play of their own, but can you kind of take us through the kick return and you know, kind of what you saw when, when you caught the football? Um, well, before the kickoff, one of the refs that came back to me was like, am I going to have to follow you for 100 yards? Or am I going to have to chase you 100 yards? And I looked at him, I said, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, as soon as the ball was kicked, uh, I just saw all the Norman players rallying up towards me. I found a way to get out to the left and get uh, in the open field. And then I saw uh, Owen Sinclair coming to pass me, and I just made that one cut, and then it was just green from there. Did you wear the poor referee out then? Like, was he worn out the rest of the game? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Might have pretty, been. That, that's pretty cool. Um, I, I got to ask yeah. you, man. I, I mean, what what is your mindset? Because I feel like every time you touch the ball, uh, it's a big splash play. Um, is that something that that you're 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 concentrating on? Is that just something that happens? How are you able to to, to make such uh, you know big plays time after time when you know you're not getting the amount of touches that a running back is, for instance? Um, I mean, our coach rely on like me and Chase to make big plays. Um, sometimes it just happens, but sometimes we have like expectations that I'm going to make a big play. Um, like I just said, our coach rely on that. Um, but most of the time, it just happens like. Like the snap of the finger, it just happens. And it's just like amazing to us that it's, that it works out that well. What do you think your best trait is as, as a football player? Would you say, like, if someone asked you, what do you do best? How would you uh, kind of respond to that? I have a feeling that, uh, you know, I may be able to say a couple of things. What would you say personally? Um, definitely beating one on one coverage. Uh, my speed has like, is a big blessing that I have. Helps me get around players. Um, definitely getting, 
finding open holes to settle in and just sit and let the QB work his way around and get me the ball. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. A couple other ones, I don't, I can't really think of anything. Yeah, that works. I mean, you know, we certainly see it, of course, the speed uh, as well. Uh, you mentioned Chase Lemke a couple of times. You know, he won Player of the Week a few weeks ago. Had a chance to to talk with him, and um, you know, we kind of laughed because you know his first varsity start as a quarterback. He goes up against one of the best teams in the state, and Thomas Jefferson. Um, yeah. But his development, I mean, he has gotten so much better. What have you seen from him? You know, from from where you're at uh, in terms of how he's gotten better from that game to you know the game against Norwin. Definitely way more confidence that he had than he, like right now than he had in the beginning of the year. Uh, he's learning how to find the like get uh, open in the open field, find his receivers. He's also not scared to run the ball. He had a couple runs that have been good for us. Um, he's not scared to lower his shoulder and put his head down. And he's just really developing right now. So it's really a blessing that he's getting better. Aiden, what do you enjoy most about playing football in general? And then what do you enjoy the most about playing for Franklin Regional? Um, nothing really beats Friday Night Lights. I mean, people talk about college and stuff, but high school is just so much more fun. I mean, all your friends and all the school come around. It's just a great atmosphere. Um, playing for Franklin is definitely the fan base and uh, the environment around it. They are so like excited about it every week, and it's just a super fun day every time it comes to be Friday night. What are some of the the best traits of, of your head coach, Lance Getze? What do you enjoy uh, about uh, playing for him? Uh, definitely how much he cares about his players um, and how much he actually wants to win. Like, he wants to win 10 times more than we do, even though we want to win just like I as bad. He wants to get it even more. Um, he sets us up for, like, to succeed in every game. Um, he gets on us every time if we mess up something. Not in a bad way, not to, like, take it to heart, but just because he loves the game that much. Every game is so important in this conference, and certainly a big one this week against the Hemfield Spartans. Um, what what are your keys to victory? Like, what do you what have you seen from Hemfield? What do you guys have to do well on both sides of the ball to, to come out with a win? Um, definitely stay uh, controlling the ball. Um, we haven't really had a lot of fumbles or anything. We had one last week that kind of scared us. But um, if we control the ball and we just stick to our game plan of running hard and getting on our guys, um, it should all work out perfect, just how it's been going. Now, I saw a picture from uh, one of our pals, Ken Reby, after the game. Uh, it was a great picture of you. I, th I don't know if you were signaling first down or, <laughs> or what, um, but I saw one of your receiver's glove. It says, hell to pit on it. Um, what, what's the story behind there? Are you kind of uh, thinking about maybe leaning, leaning there, or is there another <laughs> piece to that story? Uh, there is another piece to that story. One of my buddies that I played with two years ago, Caden Smith, you guys have probably heard of him. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. He actually goes down to pit and he was able to bless me with a new pair of gloves. So it's just awesome that he gave me those and they've been working out pretty well. So thank you, Caden. <laughs> Shout out Caden Smith. Um, yes, good sir. basketball player too. Uh, how about mm -hmm. um, college plans? Uh, and I know I just mentioned Pitt, but uh, I'm, I'm assuming you'd like to play at the next level. And, and how's that kind of uh, coming together for you right now? Um, I mean, my coaches are helping me out a lot with sending my film out and talking to other people, bringing them into the school to talk to me. Like last year, we talked to Kentucky, we talked to Dayton, we talked to a couple other schools. Um, it's going pretty well. We've got Twitter again. Um, people are following me on there, messaging me on there. Uh, I've gone up to a couple of colleges for games like Edinburgh, RMU, and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, nowhere like specifically I'm looking at yet, waiting to see how this season finishes out and get from there. Aiden, keep doing your thing, man, and uh, you'll land at a good school. I will. Ab absolutely. Congratulations and uh, good luck on Friday against Hemfield. Thank you. That is Aiden Hudock, our week six Westmoreland Sports Network player of the week. Coming back after this, we will preview that game and all the games in week seven action right here on Westmoreland on the gridiron. Hey, that was awesome, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.